my name is Gabe, and I have had the honor of reading A Song Everlasting by Ha Jin. And I guess, forgive me in advance, forget any character name pronunciations wrong, I am not very familiar with the, with any Chinese language, or really much of the culture itself, so in my ignorance I'm sure I'll mess up in some various ways. So please forgive me on that front. But with that being said, A Song Everlasting is an absolutely outstandingly amazing book. Like, if you just want my opinion, that's it. This book is really good. I feel this book, more than anything else, need, I need to get into the specifics. So in that regard, towards the end of this review, I may be talking a little bit more in detail about how the book ends. Please forgive me on that front. But for now, just in general, I want to talk about the story itself. I guess a simple synopsis is in order. The book follows Tian, a Chinese musician an incredibly popular Chinese musician who finds himself faced with a choice after accidentally associating with an organization that well, let's just say disagrees with the interests of the Chinese government Tian must either revoke his passport and lose the ability to travel freely or to travel anywhere around the world at all, and or leave the his current life to for freedom, and he ultimately chooses to leave China and immigrates to the United States. And the book is basically about the ups and downs of that decision. I want to start by saying, though, well, the problem, as specifically presented, is unfamiliar to me. The core idea is rather familiar, I'd imagine, to anybody. We're all, at some point in our lives, faced with a choice. Do we choose safety or freedom? Do we choose the safety of our current profession? or seek the freedom to maybe start our own business? Do we choose the safety of the town we've known our entire life? Or the freedom to see something new? It goes even as far as cooking. Do you go with the safe dish? Or do you make something new that maybe you won't like? And that is the decision that resonates with the core of this novel all the way through. I can't say the novel doesn't take a stance, because it definitely does, but it does show that there are pros and cons to both choices. So what happens to Tian? Well, in China he is a popular musician with, with fame and relative fortune. He can live comfortably. In America, he doesn't have that. But he does have freedom. He can sing about what he wants instead of having to sing what he's, what he's told. He can go where he wants. Well, sort of, but we'll get to that in a little bit. He does believe he made the right choice by the end of the book. But now I have to get into a few spoilery details, so that's my general opinion. What happens to him when he's... What happens to him on this whole thing? First off, I want us to talk about the way the book is framed. The book is told over... At least two dec... At least a decade. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it's... Told over a long time. Many years. And that's kind of important to this story. And something I want to talk about a bit more on its own in the future, so hold that thought. But, more importantly, it presents a very clear picture of how things change in his life. Both his, both the, the friend that got him to come over in the first place and everything around it. One of the biggest changes 
is he isn't as popular. He isn't as well known or established. And well, yes, and most of the book characters in this book are Asian, and in fact Chinese themselves. That doesn't put food on his plate. And it's something he kind of has to struggle to find out how to do. But he makes by. He makes do. Not in the ways he would have back in China, but he does make do. And he's mostly happy with himself. Then... But then things get kind of complicated. A few things happen. I will touch on each of them a bit. First off, he is married and has a daughter, and that's very important to the story. That's why I'm bringing it up. And being away from them, he ends up, as it seems to be in this type of story, and have ability, having a moment of weakness, and sleeping with another woman. However, and of this I applaud the book. It is a moment of weakness. Whereas most stories would have it last chapter after chapter. In this book, it's rather resolved after one. Well, sort of. There are long-reaching consequences that basically hang throughout the book. But the actual moment of weakness is just a moment. In fact, it's implied just to be due to being given aphrodisiacs in the first place. Of course, that woman, well, for him, it's a moment of weakness and he regrets it immediately. That woman kind of plays the role of this story's villain. Her name is, and again, sorry for mispronouncing it, Frida? Uh, again, I don't know. But she basically... Once he, as he tries to distance from her because of the regret to that, she kind of, for a good chunk of the book, makes it her mission to ruin his life. It could be discussed whether or not she does a good job, and but she does make an effort to ruin his marriage, hoping he'll come back to her. Of the first part, she kind of succeeds. Of the second, well... Tien never goes back to her, of course. The second complication, and probably the biggest, is when his family... Uh, Tian's sister and mother end up both getting sick and passing away. But because they're in China and he's in the States, well, it's not very easy for him to go and visit. Especially when the Chinese embassy decides to revoke his passport basically stranding him in the States. Meaning that because he made that choice, he could not be with his family during their last moments. And as you can imagine, that hurts him a lot. What's the next thing? The next challenge he faces? Well, he develops cancer. And this is kind of what happens at the end of the book. Now, in most books I've read recently, this would be where he tragically dies and we have our sad ending. But this book actually ends on a very positive note. Because he had moved to the States and become more free, he was able to get health care he could not get in China. In China, he would have died. In the States, he was able to be saved. But also, before he develops cancer, whilst... His daughter moves to the States to go to university. His wife does end up divorcing him. Partially because of stuff Freda said, but also just because of the distance they've had for about ten years. You just, you can't stay close like that. But he does remarry and find someone else who takes care of him while he has cancer, and he does recover. All in all, this is a, an optimistic book more than anything else. It has a happy ending in it, does show both sides of the story. It's clear the author wrote from his own experiences. And for that, I have to be externally happy to read it. It is one of the better books I've read this year. Absolutely, if you can find it, totally worth reading. But uh, that's it for today. 
If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more like it, do subscribe. But more importantly than any of that, have a good night.